Thor News presents Unknown Inbound Object. Here we're watching the stereo behind HI2 camera showing Earth and Jupiter where they are located. Now as you watch, we have an unidentified object coming in pretty dang fast. It's called Unidentified Object because we don't know if a comet, an asteroid, or a freaking mothership. Nobody knows what it is. It's moving pretty fast. We have not been able to figure out which comet this is yet. As we watch this baby come in, she's large, she's fast, and NASA doesn't have any data on it. Nobody can quite figure out what it is, so we're wondering. But that thing is moving on a pretty steady clip. It's a small Earth after all. We are fascinated by this because we don't know what it is. A lot of times when you don't know what it is, you get curious. You're like, hey, I want to know what is that? Why isn't NASA talking? I'm sure they got cameras on it. I'm sure they could tell us some stuff. And there's interference. Maybe it's a ship filled with women. But nobody really knows yet. But this comet is moving pretty fast. And on the size relation, it looks pretty large, I must say. I'm not a big fan of the 2012, December 21st conspiracy. If anything, that's the head fake for Comet Ison, which is coming next year. It's supposed to be like a second sun, and it's supposed to be 15 to 18 times brighter than the full moon. That thing sounds impressive or scary, depending on how you want to look at it. Comet Ison is going to be huge. And NASA's not giving us any data on that as far as size or in the two months since they've announced it, any more photos, really. And here we're looking at the HI2B camera, the other one. I'm spinning, I'm spinning fast. I don't know, do they usually have the camera spin? Does the camera usually go, wee, I'm spinning, which is weird. I like to spin. Did it get hit with something? Does it usually, like, turn? I don't know, but I know that when I was looking for it on this camera, all I could find was the camera spinning. As you see, we're not going to get much data from here. What, did the camera take acid or something? Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? You know what this is, tell me. All right, this gentleman says that it's either C-2012 V4 or Comet Pons Gambart. As we see here, we're looking at the Pons Gambart by NASA JPL orbit data. It's way out there. Pons Gambart is a BFE. It's nowhere near where we're supposed to. No way it can be this comet. I mean, if it's this comet, I mean, somehow this comet has picked up in speed by like 10 times, 20 times, 100 times, who knows? I don't know. You definitely know it's not Pons Gambart. Excellent. Okay, great. Now, when we check the NASA JPL orbit data on Comet c 2012 V4, you can see that there's nothing. Like, NASA doesn't even believe this comet exists, or NASA has no information on it. Which is weird, this thing's been coming in for about, for like, two weeks. I mean, you could see it for two weeks. You'd think somebody at NASA would be like, hey, let's turn a fucking camera on this thing and see what it is, and name it. Oh, NASA hasn't even named it, which is weird. Like I said, these are weird times, ladies and gentlemen. So, it's definitely not that. We still don't know what it is. But we will be checking in, so, you know, we're just going to keep checking this thing out and see what happens. This isn't doom, we're just, you know, we're not like, oh my god, this is not, this is not doom porn. I'm fascinated by celestial physics and all the inner and outer workings, so, you want to be a hater, go ahead and hate, bro. Go ahead and hate. Hate only leads to the dark side. Now, the dark side does make you a lot of money, but, at the end of the day, it's a soul that matters. Like, shout out to Dabu7, Suspicious Observers. And the other gentlemen who have been watching this thing, it's fascinating. I uh, hope we together we can all keep you guys informed, you know. All right. Love you guys. Even though I don't know you guys, God bless everyone.